In this video, we're going to cover why should you have a USA LLC as a UK or EU resident. Let's roll. Hey guys, welcome back to Sterling's Global again. Uh, thank you very much for tuning in. Uh, my name is Arafal. I'm the Managing Director and Founder of Sterling's Global. In the last video, what we covered was related to a UK limited company, how it is suitable for you to trade from the UK as a UK resident in the USA, Europe, and globally. Why should someone open a US entity versus a UK entity? Having a US entity is very important for somebody who would actually need it for the nature of their business. Last topic we compared, you know, quite a bit about why should you not have an LLC, but this one we're talking about why should you have an LLC. So the main reason would be depending on the products and the nature of the business. Now, if the product requires some sort of licensing or some sort of, you know, in detail expertise or compliances, uh, you know, for somebody to be in the present in the USA, either with the USA, you know, shareholder or director, or due to their, you know, insurance purpose, or maybe because Amazon or Walmart requires a USA LLC for the certain type of business, you should have a LLC as a UK or EU resident. It's not all about having a UK, you know, a limited company or EU uh, company trading globally. It's also sometimes in some people's business nature, it's important that you have an LLC uh, due to the requirements and the compliances. Now, what will be the compliances? It completely depends on your actual nature of business. So if you speak to one of us or another tax specialist, they will be able to, you know, break it down to uh, what you need to open an LLC over there and what are the actual credibilities that you'll require to make sure that you can consistently meeting the compliance to fully trade there peacefully without having the problems such as like tax fines, you know, uh, lawsuit or anything like this. Can you do business in the UK or Europe with a USA based entity? 100% you can do that. There are a few ways to do that. Now, you could have your website as well as your Amazon account or any of the marketplace accounts uh, fully registered with the US LLC. And you could also, you know, have your payment uh, platforms such as like, you know, if you have Stripe, PayPal, you could have a USA LLC, Stripe or PayPal, and that would be compatible with the UK and European currencies. And you could also entail your branding documents or your branding visibility uh, with a USA brand or European brand under the LLC. So there should be no problem at all trading uh, cross-border with the USA LLC while you're based in UK or Europe with the US LLC providing or supplying the product or services in this part of the world. Why we recommend that is simply because you might want to centralize all your businesses in one place, which is the USA, since the US is the bigger marketplace. And USA has got a lot more opportunities compared to UK and Europe in just one place. It's got 50 states, guys, don't forget. So you can do the whole of the business in the USA using the USA LLC also, without having to open a limited company or a European based uh, company, you can just simply use the USA LLC in any of the European countries or all of the European countries and the UK combined. So that's the way to go forwards. If coming from an EU country within the European Union, what should be their main concerns of USA based ecom entity? If you're coming from a European background, say maybe any other 20, 25, you know, European Union countries. It could be uh, Croatia with some clients from Croatia. It could be Germany, it could be Italy, France, or anywhere. We've got multiple clients from multiple countries. If you have, say, for example, the tax liabilities for your own country, now let's give an example, you're based in Belgium, okay? And you have a USA LLC in the USA, somewhere like Delaware or in another state. Now, what are your liabilities? Your liabilities would be to make sure that US LLC is fully paying and reporting all the taxes that are required according to the Delaware state of law. Also, you're fully compatible with all the sales tax and you know state tax, federal tax, franchise tax, whatever is due, withholding tax, fully compatible and make sure that all the deadlines are met. So now comes to the question, okay, I've met all the requirements I need in USA as a European citizen. So I'm a citizen or taxpayer of Belgium and I live in Belgium. Now, what are my liabilities in Belgium if I was to trade with a USA LLC? So yes, your liability would be to make sure that you report all your income and all your foreign assets to your Belgian tax office or your government. So if you're doing that, you're baking the local tax regulations. In fact, not actually telling or informing that uh, local government of your you know, current assets and businesses or affairs or income abroad is actually against the tax policies in local uh, government in anywhere in Europe. 
Now, I'm not going to comment about, you know, another country outside Europe because you're going to stick to the topic for Europe and UK. And this is the question that I was asked. How to ensure that you're fully compliant? Almost all of the European countries have got one thing in common. You have to have uh, a self-assessment submitted per year, which is like a, you know, uh, we call a self-assessment in the UK. And in Europe, it might be something else like a personal tax uh, return that you have to prepare and submit depending on which country you are. And this is when you must report what foreign assets, what foreign profit, what foreign you know business accounts or you know, what you've got must declare to the local government. As a European citizen within the European Union zone with a USA LLC, what other taxes I need to be aware of? Okay, so when you're asking this question, what you're asking that if your personal tax liability will increase or if there are some personal tax affairs that you need to be aware of in Europe or in your resident country. Of course, I mean, you need to be aware of the actual personal tax side of things. Now, if you imagine in USA, let's say you have got LLC and you're trading the apparel niche. So you're selling, you know, the shirts, jeans, you know, t-shirts, and you are using Shopify or Amazon or another platform, okay? And your yearly revenue is one million pounds, or sorry, one million dollars, I would say, in the US LLC term. Okay, so if it's one million dollars, and what you're doing is that the actual overall profit you're making is half a million dollar. Now it could be a drop shipping business, or it could be uh, actual the you know you buy the stock and you store it, then you sell it. Either way, your profit margin is half a million. So what happens to that half a million pounds or in you know, a dollars that you just made? The half a million dollar, if you made the profit, that should be after tax, after paying for all the tax in the local, you know, uh, Delaware in my, you know, example or Wyoming, after paying all the corporation tax over there, you would then have to declare this in your local tax office, such as like in Belgium or Italy, wherever you are, that this is the profit you made, this is the money that you've made so far, and you will be taxed accordingly as a local taxpayer on that half a million profit, because that's the money that you have, that's the money that you have made. Either you made sitting at home or in your local city, or you made in another country, it doesn't matter. You still have your personal tax liability to ensure that you declare to the local tax office to make sure that you're fully compliant and they are not knocking at your door asking you what happened, where is the money? So you need to be, be careful. Make sure you like, subscribe and comment on the video. If you have any question, I'll be here. Either myself or my colleagues will answer you on the comments and we'll connect from there. Thank you very much for watching.